This morning in the kitchen, hope you're hungry. We've got Gotta Q Barbecue joining us today. Pitmaster Michael Strout is here, and he's already kind of prepped some stuff beforehand. Yeah, so it already smells delicious in here. What are we looking at? This is a tri-tip sirloin beef. It's a bottom cut sirloin. It's something you don't see too much in New England. Actually, it's a California or Arizona. It's a West Coast delicacy in barbecue versus brisket that we have here in New England or in, mm -hmm. in, in the South or Texas. Like you said, we do see a lot of brisket around here. Yeah. This is something that you smoked prior to for about four hours? We originally? did. Last night, um, it, it was done at 180 degrees with hickory smoke and our spice rubs, which I'll, which we have sitting here. Yeah, what, and what are the spices that went on to that? The spices that, that we have here are a kosher salt, mm -hmm. granulated garlic, dark chili powder, Spanish paprika, and black pepper. We don't use any sugars and no sweets, so all of our caramelization, all of our bark on our meats is mm -hmm. all natural and not caramelized sugar. Yum, good to know. We also have this coleslaw dressing that we're yeah. going to pair with it. What goes in, in that? We actually have a coleslaw that, that our customers like to eat. And <laughs> So we have, it, it is the simplest thing in the world. It's literally mayonnaise, apple cider vinegar, mm. red onion, a, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and just a, a coarse chopped cabbage. And it goes on our sandwiches, it goes on our plates, it goes everywhere. And I love when coleslaw has a little bit of vinegar to it. It's delicious. It breaks it up and not, not too much mayonnaise, right? Not nope. You can still taste, you get the nice crunch. That's correct. Beautiful. That's yeah. what I like to hear. All right, we're going to get cooking in just a bit. Now, Will, it's barbecue time, buddy. Take it away. Let me tell you, we're back in the uh, the Roadshow Kitchen. Mike said, if you're going to do barbecue, you need the black gloves. So we're going to make this. We're going to make this official. Putting these black gloves on. Got a cute barbecue. Is the place we love a good barbecue. It smells pretty good in here today. It smells actually really good in here. You're going to uh, make the the uh, the rub for it, right? The spice rub. Yeah. Spice rub. All right. What do we need? So what we got is we got a we have a kosher salt, granulated garlic, dark black or brown chili pepper, mm -hmm. black pepper and Spanish paprika. All right. They all go in the bowl. All right, so put all the stuff in the bowl. Every here. one of them, yeah. All right, put this in the bowl here. Okay. Put this in here. And all of this pepper, right? Yeah, uh, no. No. <laughs> About, mm, yeah, most of it. Most of it, all right. Most of it. I didn't want to be that guy who was like, oh, 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 too much pepper. You're good. Good. Okay. All right, then get your hands in it and mm -hmm. make it all mix really, really, really well. And what does this not only add flavor, does this break down this meat a little bit too? It does. The salt that's in it, it, depending on how long you put the rub on for, will actually tenderize a little mm -hmm. bit. What we don't do is we don't use any sugars in our dry rubs. Okay. Like some people do. They use the sugar to, you know, to caramelize the meats. We don't do that. So basically what happens is, once it's mixed together really, really well, right. is, and this, now this has been smoked already, but so, so what we're going to do is we're going to sear it off. So we're going to mix it up good, Yep. and then we're just going to be nice and easy with it. You don't want clumps, you don't want anything, you just want a little bit of extra. And you also don't want whatever rub you're putting on it to take away from the flavor of the, the meat itself. That's correct. Too, you right? don't ever, ever mask it. That's the, that's the good thing about a rub. To us, rubs with sugars make things sweet. It sweetens a, a beef, and who wants to put sugar on, on a steak? Right. I don't. Yeah. So, yeah. So, so now you have this like this, right? Yep. And then all we do. Basically, is got um, a great cast iron pan here. That's 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 my pride and joy. And there. that is also a key too. Good uh, a good pan to right. do this on, right? Now, when, yeah, and when, when we do ours, we do them on a char broiler, mm -hmm. and we do them on wood. Oh, okay. So it's all hick oak and hickory wood. Add extra flavor to an extra. That's extra correct. Nice smoke. So that, yep. So then it just goes on. Drop I've that, already yeah. seared the one side off. You can see it. And we'll just go for the. How long is it going to sit on this here? Just a few minutes. Just a few minutes. All right. Yeah. So we're going to sear that off, and it smells so good in here. We'll talk about what would the uh, the kind of meat that we're cooking and the other uh, the other great meats and uh, things that they have going on. Got a cute barbecue. Back to you. Back in the Roadshow Kitchen with Pitmaster Michael Stout from uh, Gotta Go, Got a Cube Barbecue. Uh, Tri-tip sirloin, Texas red chili with coleslaw dressing is what we're making. Mm. You've got the coleslaw. I love a good coleslaw. This is a coleslaw that mm -hmm. we've beat up and beat up and beat up. Every place we've ever been, you know, people say, oh, well, that's, the coleslaw is there because it's there. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's a garnish. It's this, it's that. And you know what? We decided that we were going to make a coleslaw that actually um, people wanted to eat. You wanted yes. to make it a little extra special. We did. <laughs> and it's it's made basically with just simply mayonnaise, mm -hmm. apple cider vinegar, salt, pepper, red onion, and a good a, a good cabbage mix. Mm -hmm. And that's it. And I think you have to have that when you have a good barbecue, right? You do have to have you it. You do. You do. You do. So anyway, so that is used to go on top of sandwiches. Mm -hmm. It's used as, as a side. It's used however people want it. Right. And it works very well. It goes excellent with, with the tri-tip. Mm -hmm. It goes excellent with uh, our pulled pork and our brisket sandwiches. So 
it's and it's made and it's and it's ready to go. All right, sounds beautiful. So, so anyway, I'm going to reach behind. And Grab a glove here. Sure. Now you were also saying that the the pe type of meat that we you made today, that you smoke today, isn't usually served around here, right? Right. No, this is something that a tri tip is. You'll find in California. Actually, they have restaurants and food trucks that are that are designed right around tri tip sandwiches. And there, up out there, the tri tip is served in place of brisket, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or it's served um, on its own. It's a sandwich with peppers and onions. It's a sandwich with just with grilled onions. It's it's whatever. It's actually a very very tough cut of meat unless it's handled really carefully. Okay. Which you've done, smoking that for, for a while, putting that nice rub on it. Right. We're good to go. Yeah. So anyway, so basically what we do at this point is is we sit there and, and, we, and we'll build a sandwich. Okay. Right, sounds okay. good. Let's go for Yum. it. So what we're going to do is we're going to push yeah, we'll this back just a little bit out of the way. I right, love these out trays out the that yeah. they come on too. Yeah. Well, this is this, this is sort here. of tradition. When you use the when, when you use the butcher paper and you use the the metal trays. That makes it official. Yeah, I mean, when you go to a Texas barbecue place, they're gonna, they're, they're gonna give you a half a pound of this, a half a pound of this, all mm -hmm. your sides, four slices of white bread, and go sit down. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> they won't even make you a sandwich. But in this case, I'm gonna make you a sandwich. Hook us up. So you want to cut piece. it nice and thin. Uh huh. And Tell do me. you heat this up on the pan again, just to, to I don't warm know. it up after? Nope. No, nope, you want That's it. That's all it needs. You want it to be all by its lonesome. So you do that. Perfect. You reach over and grab a little bit of red onion. A little onion. And if you could hand me that, that bottle right there with, sure. the, with the sauce. Sure. Secret sauce? That is a smoky horseradish sauce. Oh. Mm. So basically, it's just like that. Get the meat, you get the sauce, that nice crunch from the onion. Like that. Just the smell from it smells so good. Like that. We do a little, a little bit of salt on that. Yeah. It's all about the sides. It's all you about the sides. Great barbecue, and then dress it up with some great and dress sides. Dress it up with some great sides. There you go. If you hand me the other, sure. The other one, we'll yeah, go ahead we'll and get we'll, moving and on we'll that. Actually, make another one. Switch, we'll switch this switch one around. Send this your way. That way you get a little assembly line. Oh yep. my goodness! It smells so good. Now, Gutta Q Barbecue. You guys are a food truck, but you, you do like a lot of corporate events. You do festivals. You're you're out on the road all the time. And we have two restaurants. And Actually, we got two restaurants yep, too. We're at 2000 Menden Road in Cumberland right at CBS Plaza. Mm -hmm. And then we're opening up a second one right in front of Highland Park on Menden Road in the Shell Station. So things are good. At 99. <laughs> yeah, well, we're having we're having a good time. People love a good barbecue, a good mm -hmm. a, a great flavor from barbecue. Yeah. Man, if I lived anywhere near you and I could smell that all day. <laughs> <laughs> we've been out about three years now, and we've garnished almost almost 8,000 followers. Wow. Wait. Beautiful. All so. right, we're going to throw some coleslaw in there, and then we're going to add the chili on these plates as well. If you want this recipe because it looks and smells delicious, make sure you go to roadshow.com. Delicious.